Mr. President, I move a bill for an act to provide for the establishment of a Federal University of Medical Sciences and Biomedical Technology in six geopolitical zones and for matters connected therewith, 2022 SB 678, second reading. I so move, Mr. President. And biomedical technology and for related matters. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, permit me to lead the debate on the general principle of this important bill, Federal University of Medical Sciences and Biomedical Technology Assembly Bill 2021, SB 678. This bill was read for the first time on the floor of this Allo Chamber on 21st April 2021. Background. The recent global outbreak of COVID-19 and the spread of the virus mut mutation through the emergence of many variants in UK, USA, South Africa, and Brazil made it imp imperative that developing countries, especially Nigeria, become more proactive in the readiness to research and prevent future outbreaks. Reports show that Nigerians in the diaspora are deeply involved in the research and production of the life-saving COVID-19 vaccines developed by Pfizer Pharmaceutical. Also of note is the appointment of a Nigeria by President Joe Biden of the United States of America as senior policy advisor on the COVID-19 pandemic response in the White House. Nigeria is blessed with highly intelligent and talented people. What is missing and required which this bill seeks to provide is the enabling environment and infrastructure to harness the abundant human resources available in Nigeria. Establishment of these universities as specialized centers of excellence in the field of medical and in, in the field of medicine and biomedical technology research will provide the much needed infrastructure to achieve this objective. The establishment of these universities will be an avenue, Mr. President, for income generation, for self sustenance as well as source of income into the Federation account. The result of research findings will be available and marketed to the whole world, partnership with established international private sector, especially in the medical, pharmaceutical, and allied companies, will attract the most needed foreign investment into the country. Justification for this bill. Mr. President, this week, colleague, it will be recalled that the Senate has legislated on three related institutions. This bill, however, seeks to provide a unified legal and legislative framework similar to the Federal University of Technology Establishment Act for the existing and other Federal University of Medical Sciences being proposed in this bill. And for further future requests, as shall be presented for consideration by the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Mr. President, most respected distinguished colleague, it is on record that the Senate had earlier passed three different bills, establishing each a Federal University of Health Sciences, Otupo, Federal University of Medicine and Medical Sciences, Abeokuta, Federal University, Federal University of Medical and Health Sciences in Yekiti, while the National University Health and Medical Sciences, Suleja, is still under Senate consideration. This bill, when passed, passed we provide a platform for establish 18, 18 federal universities of medical sciences and biomedical technology with at least three universities of medical sciences and biomedical technology in each of the six geopolitical zones of the Federation. Mr. President, this colleague, statistics from JAM in 2017 show that the existing medical tertiary institution in Nigeria had been led at 20% annually of candidates desirous and qualified to study medicine and other sciences in Nigeria universities. Mr. President, if this bill is, is passed, it will support the establishment of 18 universities of medical and biomedical technology with at least three universities of medical sciences and biomedical engineering technology per geopolitical zone at first instance. And we help address the dread in admission of students aspiring to study medicine and other sciences in Nigeria and the supply of needed manpower in our healthcare service sector. While the enormous stress posed by the teeming Nigerian population on the available national health infrastructure and available, and available health personnel will be reduced. This bill, when passed to law, 
will also bridge the huge gap in doctor-patient ratio as well as in medical research and production of pharmaceutical products with huge potentials to make Nigeria a medical education and health tourism destination. Mr. President, the Swiss Central Federal Republic, respected colleague, permit me to further bring it to your notice that the fact that Nigeria has only about 72,000 nationally registered medical doctors with only 35,000 practicing medical doctors serving a population of over 200 million people with doctor-to-patient ratio of 2,777, as again the World Health Organization WHO minimum recommended ratio of one doctor to between 400 to 600 patients. This is grossly inadequate, Mr. President, and requires very urgent and collective intervention by the Senate. Conclusion, Mr. President, and colleagues, I wish to submit that when this bill is finally passed to law, the next Senate will be sufficiently laid down an unprecedented foundation which will put the Guinea health care sector on a global map that will endear our national health care development plan, financial implication. In line with Order 773 of the Senate standing, Order 2050 has amended a compendium of financial implication of the establishment of issues facility of medical sciences and biomedical engineering technology is hereby attached. I therefore, Mr. President, urge my two colleagues to support this bill to be read for a second time. I so move, Mr. President. The single Senator James Manager did to provide for the establishment of the Federal University of Medical Sciences and Biomedical Technology in the six geopolitical zones and for matters connected there with 2022 20, second reading taken. And the bill is referred to the Committee on Health to report by within four weeks. Leader of the Senate.